Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 for Absolute Beginners. And in the last episode, I had dreams. Uh, dreams of making my army one of the most ferocious in the world, and with that, we need cannon. We are making 30.8 gold per month, which is enough to sustain a combat width of cannon. Our cannons are up here in recently conquered Norway. Uh, looks like Denmark is extending out. We can definitely keep pressuring Norway for this land here, but if we look at the trade nodes, that is in the Lubeck trade node. Now, what we could do is seize as much of the Lubeck trade node as possible and start funneling cash back into the English Channel. That would certainly be a thing. We also could take Den Haag, which is a Rhine estuary, massive local trade power in the North Sea or the English Channel as well. So very, very good stuff as far as that's concerned. Speaking of trade, also in the last episode, we built all of these light ships ready to protect trade. They'll more than pay for themselves. Uh, there's our fleet protecting trade. What we want to do is get all of the little guys together. Let's uh, move them all to Hampshire. And then once we get them all together and corralled up, uh, everything will be awesome. Is this our heavies? Uh, we got one light ship there. Okay, one light ship. Come on down to Hampshire. Your mother was a Hampshire and your father smelt of elderberries. All right. So our light ships will meet up in Hampshire. We'll assign them to protect trade and everything will be awesome. We want to keep our cannons up here. We do have a good leader um, for the future war of Norway. I don't actually believe we have any more claims. Uh, so we can start claiming uh, Bratsburg and Akershus. Certainly seems like a good thing to do. And as far as our allies are concerned, uh, they are allied with the Teutons, which in the last war, the Teutons didn't really do much. I think they're like over here. Yeah, so they couldn't get all the way from the Teutonic Order over here to do any real thing. So it, it makes sense to continue to build a spy network in Norway to beat them up. And now it's time for the great um, overhaul of the army. So we look at our force limit and we're at 119 of 130. So we can build 11 more cannon scot-free. Uh, our combat width is 27. So what we want to do is have 27 cannons nearby uh, and then a group of 23 or 20, uh, 22, that math, 27 minus four. Yeah, it's 23 and then have four cav in this as well. So a whole back row of cannon, plus a whole front row of infantry and cavalry on the flanks, and then some infantry to back them up. So that's like what these guys can do. I'm just getting ready for the, the massive war on Cologne that I think we're going to have to declare for Den Haag. Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor. They will automatically defend and call in Sousa and Aquitaine, which is a pain, aqua pain, I say. I mean, they've got 13,000 troops. Let's check the ledger and see how many armies Aquitaine actually does have right now, right now. So 38,300 troops. I don't know where they're at. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, are they fighting any wars? They're not. I don't know what they're doing. But if the Holy Roman Emperor calls them in, um, unfortunately, that's going to be bad. What we could do is wait for the Holy Roman Emperor to not be allied with Aquitaine. So Aquitaine would be more than willing uh, to jump into the war. So whenever Austria dies, because Austria is a Holy Roman Emperor, uh, Thietmar II is a... 17 year old 17 year old holy crap that might take a while so that's why it's good to have Norway in our pocket for sure uh, we could we could beat up on Norway with with impunity and keep our eyes focused on Cologne now if for some reason the Holy Roman Emperor dies and we get a pop-up that says there is a new country that is leading the Holy Roman Empire hopefully it is not going to be. Well, it can be us. That's fine. Hopefully, it's not going to be Aragon, Genoa, or Austria again. 
That, that's going to be the kicker. So, let's go ahead and get our cannon up and running while we are discussing it. So, let's make some units. Let's go with our culverin. Let's increase up to our force limit. So, that's 119, 121, 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So, that will get us up to the force limit in cannon. And that is going to be 11 cannon. We need 11 more. So what we're going to do is go over the force limit a bit. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Every province in mainland uh, Europe is going to be making a cannon. Then what we can do is relieve 11 infantry and send them back to the manpower pool. Uh, how about this 9 stack? Let's break away the cab. Select this unit and disband it. Alright, and then we are how much over? It would probably fire... Man, I'm so bad at math. Alright, let's play. Let's get all of our ships together to protect Trey. Let's get all of these cannons up and running. So we look nice and intimidating. That is the goal. Up, oh, and we got another ship here to Hampshire, if you please. All right, looks good, feels good, is good. Merge them all, select the mission, protect the trade in the English Channel, if you please. All right, so they'll merge up with that fleet there, and everything should be good. Hopefully, they'll merge up with the fleet. Let's see. Protecting trade in the English Channel. Protecting trade in the English Channel. All right, 13 colonies are a piece. We'll go ahead and maintain that diplomat. Let's see how we're doing. 2% liberty desire. We're getting some taxes out of them. What is their ideas here? I'm wondering. So they got expansion, plutocratic, and economic. So they don't have colonial ideas. I don't know how well they are going to expand. Uh, speaking of expansion, we're working on three colonies here. Holy crap, all the cannons are coming out. All right. Cannon, 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 cannon. All right, holy crap, on a cracker. Uh, what is your supply limit? 41. Looks good, man. Let's get all of these guys up to continent. We'll see how many that is. Uh, let's get these cannon over to continent and we'll make a pretty intimidating force so what those cannons will do is they will fire from the back row and as long as they have inventory to fill up the front line oh holy crap where where are we at 41 all right let's merge them up get you guys to stop right there criminal scum all right so that's a 44 limit why not? You all come down here to Kane. And we'll break off an infantry. Look at all that cav. We don't need that much cav. Let's pull our cav out before the end of the month so we don't take attrition. We really only need four cav in an army. Uh, that way it can flank on the side. So what we'll do is we'll create a new unit. Send four cav back up to it. And that will put us at 36. And then we'll see what our composition is. So we've got 19, 4, and 13. It looks like we need to put in some more cannon. Um, and let's check our force or er, combat with 27. I tell you what, an army that's 27 wide, that is nuts. Because right now we're 23 wide. We could actually stand a few more infantry. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's send some infantry over here. And I think that's going to be the force limit right there, 41. So that will be a pretty vicious combat stack. So 24 plus 4, that's 28. We're actually one over the combat width, so that is an extra infantry uh, that can, you know, fall in if an infantry breaks. 
Plus we've got 13 cannons in the back. Ideally, we want all 27 cannons here ready to go and uh, lower the boom on them. But, you know, supply limit and attrition and all that good stuff. Stavanger. Where is Stavanger? I think they're up here, are you not? Yeah. So Stavanger's going up a little bit. 125 years for Cambrai. And then Stavanger is three years? What's the supply limit here? 34. All right, tell you what. All you guys get to Stavanger. And it may still tick up because now we're going to leave the others undone. How big is this rebellion going to be? All right, Norwegian separatists are going to be 27K if they fire. Definitely something to keep an eye on. If I remember right, we were coring. So some of that unrest will be, uh, be mitigated. So 13 and 6. No flanking bonus, but our artillery is very well protected. Yeah, 2.4 years. Although we're going to core. We're going to core very soon. Hopefully it doesn't tick up over the next couple of months. I don't know where they're going to fire. But we do have a pretty good leader there. 4632. Come on, core. We need you guys. And then that will lower the separatism a lot. Once we can get those done. Colonies are almost done. Which is always good. I think we're about to found our second colonial nation. Alright, Orkney is part of our heritage. Feorna is part of our heritage. That's right, keep on working. Get that separatism down. Discoveries spread. Nice. Shetland Pony has been cored. That's working up 93% there. How's the separatism now? Eight in Stravanger. That looks like the one that's getting ready to fire the worst. The growth of the printing press. Here we go. The ability to mass produce the written word and revolutionize the spread of information in many ways. The early modern society as a whole. Pioneered by Renaissance men. Venetian printer Aldus Bantinus. Uh, let's see. Gutenberg made the printing press, did he not? This changes everything. So countries that have not fully embraced the printing press start taking up. London is the center of printing until the end of the game, giving it institution spread. Paris gets 25% or 25 support for the printing press, and we get a lot of Diplo, admin, 20 prestige. That is what I'm talking about. We have the institution, and we're actually capped on points as well. So before the new... You know what? We are way ahead of time. What is our idea? Military. And if, if you're wondering why we haven't taken military tech, bleh, and bleh. I mean, this poor guy is doing everything he can. Henry Rook, you are a god among men, good sir. Because without you, we would be dumb in the, the realm of gun shooty shooty. I wish George would die in combat. Um, you know what? Have we assigned him? I believe we did. Yes, George Ubrain is leading the 4th Army. The 4th Army is right there in Kane. Be a shame if you, like, caught, I don't know, something. Stub your toe and die or something. Oh, man. That's going to hold us back for a bit. Now, we are way ahead of time. Seven years ahead of time on Diplotech. Is there something else we can do with Diplotech that doesn't... Let's see. That's Diplotech. We could recruit an Admiral. We have an Admiral in charge of Blue Squadron. That Admiral actually needs to be in charge of our Trade Protectors. Let's go ahead and get our Admiral there. He has no maneuver. But I think what we can do is go ahead and try to roll a better Admiral. Uh, because we really have no... Yeah, we're four above the force limit here. So now that that refreshed, let's go ahead and get four infantry pulled off of this thing. Select and disband, if you please. So now we're at our force limit. Man, that technology, though. We're doing really good on Diplo. Like, what, what's our people at on Diplomatic? Pretty crap. 
I don't know where all those Diplo points came from, but we're maxed out. We need to do something with them. Let's get and roll another Admiral for 50 Diplo tech. Or do we want an Explorer? Go down here to Africa? Maybe find Mali? Bump, 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 bump noses with, with Mali, maybe? Not sure. I kind of want to focus on mainland England and the Holy Roman Empire, but if Africa and the Gold Coast, and it's uncolonized, and I mean, we're about to get a second colonial nation over here, so we can have one colonizing like the Caribbean, one colonizing North America, and one down here in Africa. Might not be too bad. Let's just roll an Admiral. Let's see if we can get a higher maneuver than, than one. All right, skaboosh, a two, Archibald Warwick. And we're good for a few months on Diplo points. Awesome. So Warwick, you are now in charge there, Archibald. Go ahead and protect trade in the English Channel again. And as far as our other Admiral is concerned, um, we can keep him around just in case, uh, but we'll see. All right, so Diplo Tech, we don't want to take a loan. There is no inflation to do. As far as stability goes, that is admin points. We can't do anything with that. Um, can we do something with handle them? That's admin, harsh treatments, military. Why can't we do anything with Diplo? We've got all of our states, as far as our cultures are concerned. Let's see, Protestant in Stavanger. Okay. Stability and expansion. I'm not sure what we can really do with those points. Luckily, we don't really accrue them that quickly. We've got a few months to worry about it. Then we're going to be capped out on points again. Uh, and we just hit the yearly tick. So we'll be seven years ahead of time for the next 12 months. I don't want to take that early. It's trade efficiency in a new ship, but it is an awful waste. How's the institution of spread? Oh, it'll spread here in London. It uh, should be embraced here. And Oxford, how are you spreading? 0.62 a month in 14 years. 14, 15 years, it'll start spreading around from London. And what's this uh, support for the printing press? Oh, nice. Paris is the in the continent of Europe. 20 development. And the owner has a center of printing. So... Paris will also start getting the printing press. Not as quick, 1590. We may, uh, we may buy into it before. All right, let's go ahead and keep on working on our manufactories. Uh, we are doing the mission to build manufactories, so we need 20 total. And it's been a bit since we built manufactories. The next up on the docket is cork for 475. We need to save our gold for that. And you can see our cannons are costing us an extra seven gold a month to maintain, but really, really powerful if someone decides to lay the shock down on us. All right, we're building the spy network in Norway. Truce with Denmark and Byzantium is over, and we can fabricate a claim on Eggsdeden and Stavanger is now part of our patrimony. We'll get a claim on Bratsburg. Sounds good. How is the unrest now? Good, sir. 6.8. Oh, that's separatism. Denmark has declared war on Norway. Conquest as their casus belli. So you are in the Danish conquest of Inair. Artisan, Ferrara. Yeah, we are fabricating claims there. All right, so where is this province you're fighting off for, Inair? Oh, that. Okay, I can see that. Uh, that's Denmark. That's Norway. Makes sense. Denmark seems to be going that way. And then I'll swoop in and go that way. Nobles ally with a foreign power. The nobility is not fully subjugated during this age. And nobles could and did strike independent alliance with foreign princes. All right, lose 33 admin or 15 prestige. I kind of like the prestige. I mean, it's improving relations, it's aggression, uh, morale, 
33 admin. What can we do with that? Admin is not our idea group. We are seven years ahead of time for admin. And I think admin is our best stat by far. So, uh, diplomatic insult on Norway. Okay. So what does a diplomatic insult on Norway allow us to do? I know we have a truce. We'd be a truce breaker. Diplomatic insult to show superiority. Uh, for core revocation, monetary reparations, and a concession of defeat. Not worth it, really. We'll let Norway sort of fall to Denmark. All right, colonies. Kamgui is self-sustaining, and we have new Kuba, and we have completed the mission. Sweet. So that is going to be colonize the Caribbean. That will be done. We will be getting 25% global tariffs and 25% native assimilation. I like that. Sweet. All right, we can make states. So the Isles has 13 development, and all three Isles all right, are there. It's not worth it a lot. We only have one province there. Uh, Greenland, we have both, but terrible development. And Lawyer. 25 development. We're making 48 gold from that. If we were to boost and then make these proper cores, what would that do for us? It's 75% autonomy. We could drop that autonomy quite a bit, I would think. And we have one more... S How many state slots do we have? 20 of 21 states. Ah, because, yeah. That's uh, Cuba. Cuba now, man. It's, uh, they're political refugees from Cuba, man. All right, so without further ado, that's Terra Incognita. We need our conquistador. So we need our transports down here to get our troops out of Cuba. All right, um, how are the pirates looking over here? Three, three light ships. Um, if we were to take our heavies, oh, what are you doing? You're a light ship. Protect trade in the English Channel, if you please. Get out there. So we've got three heavies, no transports. Where did our transports go? Hey, Navy. Oh, you're all up there. All right, that works. Um, how's your separatism? Zero percent. And the friendly troops are barely keeping it under wraps. So let's just send these transports uh, to meet up with our heavies. All right, heavy, heavy. Come around the side, please. We'll head on over to Cuba, pick these guys up, and we need to start thinking about another colony. Um, this is Altera Incognita down here. Do we start the Africa move? We might whip around here and see what we can do. I mean, Molly's right here. They kind of like us. They're on military tech 11, and we're on military tech... Boop, boop, boop. Yoink. 12. So we're having them in military tech by a bit. They're massive. Do they have any alliances? Jared, Canemborno, Air, and Nupe. That is a pretty, pretty vicious Africa. I don't know if I want to go messing around with all of that. I believe... Oh, take a look at all these natives. So I believe maybe South America may be our next destination. Three development, four development, and a tropical. Attrition for enemies. Tropical. Do we have any estuaries up here? That one. And Pisa's got that? That's Pisa. Are you kidding on me right now? Pisa's got the coastal center of trade. Oh, man. Well, we lost that shot. Um... Let's see. That's Terra Incognita. Yeah, we need to get our ships over here. Let's meet them up. Smash the pirates. Uh, assign that admiral that we didn't fire. And then get our conquistador over here. Cornwallis, who is a beast. And then we can uh, 
go ahead and start marching over here. And our other colonies are about to fire as well. I think we want to send a colonist to Shenandoah, Potomac. Nothing too awful good as far as trade is concerned there. We already have... That's Susquehannock. Tisk, 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 tisk. All right. Improve relations with the Powhatan. Once your subjects provinces, an alliance and guarantee different religion. It's a shame we can't send our, uh, you know, our, uh, yeah, missionary. Well, I mean, we could force, force, forcefully do it. Take him as a vassal by force. We could. <laughs> we could force them to like us. What is this province like, I wonder? It's an eight development. Nothing really special about it. Um, yeah, we'd have to break off the alliance, though, and we would get... Oh, man. Yeah, it'd be a long time before we could do that. All right, without further ado, let's get our... Heavies met up with our transports. How is our spy network with Norway? Almost there to Akershus. I'm sure they're losing handily uh, to Denmark. Settlers have rejected our original ca our capital city. So gain 10 prestige, one base tax in Barakoa. Barakoa. So the base tax is two. That'll go up to three. That's another development. More people means more taxes. Nice. I like it. So that'll be a six development province. Oh, Cornwallis will no longer service. Well, crap. We need to roll another conquistador, and we're not doing a very good job. You know what? Um, what's the autonomy here in the Isles? 75%. I mean, we're not going to get any problems out of them. We've got as much development as we can out of them. It should be a good return on profit. Bergenschuss is now part of our core. Let's just make the Isles. It's not actually making us much money, though. This land it. Really? Oh, very nice. Yes, indeed. We'll make this a state. Oh. Well, that didn't actually do too awful well, but what that allows us to do... We'll spend our admin points to bring the autonomy down. And that should be okay. Alright, we're almost capped out again on... Diplo points. It's a shame we can't get a conquistador with Diplo points. We're really struggling in the realm of, of military. Would it almost be worth going up to a level 3 advisor to sort of pad this out? Land maintenance minus 10%. It'll save us money. It'll cost us 13 bucks a month. We're making 25. It's a shame we can't get a half half price guy now there is a DLC where we can promote these guys if they are our uh, culture and religion but I don't have that DLC it'd be nice to make this guy the morale guy um, a level 2 or a level 3 oh crap so what do we do what do we do what do we do do we just bite the bullet and save points 959 diplo power I mean that is Absolutely nuts when we could use it for something else. That I'm not sure. All right, uh, Alexander. Head on over here. Let's go pick up our boys from Cuba. And where in the world are you going? You're taking a very interesting route. Come up through here. Come down through here. Probably stop off at our colony. And heal up. And take out that pirate, if you please. Alright, so Norwegian Separatists ticking up 70%. 
What is their size? Crap, we really need a leader. And you know who the man for the job is? George. <laughs> oh man, if we're lucky, we can lose our heir in a rebel... A rebel fight? So we've got 13 infantry, 6 cannon. They're going to fire with... Man, we're losing Diplo. I wish we could click development buttons with Diplo. But we can't, unfortunately. Let's just bite the bullet. It is a terrible waste of points. But at least we'll be making points now. All right. Um, What was I thinking before? Yeah, I was looking at the rebellions. Oh, look at Cuba being awesome. Nice. All right. 26K to 19K. They're going to flank us. Where's our Navy transport? All the way there, huh? I'll tell you what. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Come this way. Actually, we could go pick up our cannons, can't we? So we've got 13 width and 6 cannon. We could probably bring another... 7 cannon on top. Bohemia declared on Ethiopia. That is awesome. I wish this would tick down. 6.5 is terrible. Uh, Brabant. Okay, Powhatan is there. Call that diplomat. Looks like Denmark is marched right on into Bratsburg. Fabricate a claim on uh, Akershus. So we'll be ready to go if that's not taken. All right, where's our boats? All right, Barracoa is self-sustaining. Internal conflicts. Norway face a decade of chaos. I like it. All right, so that's part of Cuba now. Um, those guys are just going to have to wait a hot minute because we've got more pressing issues to handle. Uh, what's the supply limit up here? 31. We'll get as many as we can up here. Is that you? That's you. All right, so let's mount up. We need... Let's see, so we are going to need seven cannon to break even. That would put us at uh, 26. Seven, 20, 20. So we need five more infantry and like six more cannon. Some cav wouldn't be bad. So we'll take the cav. We'll take three infantry, and we'll take one, two, three, four, five cannon. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Is 12 good enough? Yeah, awesome. Pretty much got that right on the nose. Three, four, and five, board the ship. We are coming to your aid, Stravanger. Do not fire, Norwegian Separatists, or we will have at you. And then our, our bold heir, a 221, will lead the charge against the, the heathen rabble. Sounds like a plan. All right, now you guys can head on over to Omeletteville, smash those pirates, and dock on up. We can build up another manufactory now in Cork. Looks good. All right, Rebels. What you gonna do? Oh, we have uh, two free colonists. All right, since we are... We're almost good there. Let's go ahead and we'll start working on the next one here. Shenandoah and the Potomac. Let's go Shenandoah. We'll send our colonists there, a thousand troops. We'll march you right on over there. Oh, and Mali is fighting our pirates for us. Appreciate it, Mali. Lost nine brave troops marching across the river. Yeah, and uh, I think we can head on down here to some South American uncolonized land. Although part of me wants to hop right on over and start colonizing that. As far as your ideas, Cuba, what did you take? 
Expansion, plutocratic, and economic. So, awesome. We've lost Castus Bell against Norway. Don't know why. We still have it, don't we? All right, 1.4 years. We're just chilling. We're at the force limit. Oh, look at that. Let's let's really make them mad. Let's uh. Let's convert them. That'll take them off. Yeah, we're, we're kind of sending our air into a very dangerous and precarious place, for sure. All right, Delaware is self-sustaining. Gain some prestige. Uh, let's see, yeah, colonists will arrive there. Let's uh, have these boats come on up, up to here. Pick these seven troops up. Nice to see that the 13 colonies are starting to get a militia going. That didn't end badly for uh, for England at all in real life. All right, so let us hop to we Terra 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 Terra. All right, tell you what, come on down to Cuba. It pains me to do it, but we need a conquistador to flesh out the rest of these islands. So we're going to need to roll a conquistador. You are now in charge. Once we drop those troops off there, we'll mount them all up on the boats. And get them on over here. Why are you going that way? You literally can go that way. Tariffs on tobacco. Cuba gains 5% tariff value or points. Long run, Cuba gains tariff value. You know, that was really... Oh, because you don't have an explorer. You can't go in Terra Incognita. We don't know what's around Baracoa. Even though we can look out, we can't see it yet. All right, transport. Let's get you guys marching into Terra Incognita. Corrupt Viceroys. Gain to inflation. We can buy that down very, very quickly. Yeah, we don't want global terrorists and corruption. Although, that's five years. We can get rid of our inflation in two years, or five years for sure. All right, let's take a look at our inflation here. We can buy it down with admin points, because of course we can. How are we on admin? We're still ahead of time. If we buy down our inflation, value of two. We go flat even, more money. So not too awful bad. All right, good sir. Go ahead and send a colonist here. Six development. And then we will create a new unit. Break off pretty much everyone. And then head there. And we'll try to uncover as much Terra Incognita on this island as we can. So we can really start, uh, start seeing what it is to see. Is that Pisa? And is this Pisa? So Pisa is getting awful comfy with us over here in the Dominican Republic, is that? Shenandoah. We put him down. Yes, pulling from the manpower pool. Yep, so that is Pisa. We have one Terra Incognita left to see. And then we can get him back on the boats and start marching them down here in South America. Maybe we can start getting a foothold down there. Would certainly be nice. Hey, Admiral, do me a favor, good sir. Go play Smashy Smash. Maybe we'll capture the ship. No, we just destroyed it. All right, back to Jamaica, please. Yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica isn't settled. If we could get a good look on what exactly Jamaica has for base taxes and whatnot. All right, Shenandoah is doing okay. 13 colonies are expanding, and we still have one colonist left. All right, Conquistador. March on the ship, please. Let's just march right on through from the ship to Jamaica. We'll see what we got. Antokia, Darien, and Choco. So yeah, we're learning all about South America. Pretty cool, pretty big, pretty big indeed. All right, so we're here at Jamaica, man. 
Oh, it's a 10 development. Yes, indeed. Send someone here right now. That'll be our three colonies. That is outstanding. All right, we need a manufactory in Hainut. Norwegian separatists are at 90%. We are ready to fight. The heritage of the great grandmother Anne. She was the daughter of a lowly farmer. Deny it to lose five legitimacy or acknowledge we lose five prestige. I don't want to lose the prestige. We'll lose the legitimacy just a little bit. That's fine. Hey, you know what? What, what, what we'll do? We'll take the friendly troops out of here. And we'll really get them mad. We'll just take them on. Come on, fire, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Where are you at? 16.5? Bet. Bet. Come on. Fire. 17% chance of firing. Everyone else is like, nah, we don't want any. We're good. All right, let's take a look at our autonomy since we're here. The unrest, we can't lower those, but we can lower these. High Newt and Brussels. There they are. All right, good air. Go forth. A zero three, so he's got some shock to him. We've got some shock to us. I don't think they're going to be able to take that province, question mark. It's a shame they didn't fire Instavanger. Ten years of separatism in Bergen shoes, but guess what? That's going to be the end of you, good sir. Yeah, cannon lower the boom. Yeah, very strong in the fire phase. Lowered the boom with a stack wipe. We'll take that back. Just enough to detach the siege. And then we'll head on down to Eggs... Eggs Gadden. <laughs> it is the... Eggs... Eggs then? Sure. And everything will be awesome. Alright, so cannons doing the work. Pro provinces, yes, I know. We need to declare war on Cologne. But we're not sure. Austria is still the Holy Roman Emperor. Great Britain claimed that. And I believe our separatism is done. Rebel factions, so... Oh, uh, yeah, no rebel factions to be found. The Norwegian separatists have been put down on these clowns. Can I get a witness? All right. Um, let's go ahead and top off relations with Aquitaine and call it a day. Yeah, they're sitting at uh, 85 improved relations. All right, so we're expanding. We have Cuba. And we are working on Jamaica. We are working on, what is this here? Les Cays. And we're uh, working on the Shenandoah. That's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Europa Universalis 4 video. Take care.